All right, let's talk about parties and party systems. Parties and party systems. Now, um, we want to distinguish between the single party system, the two party system, and then the multi party system. Um, in a single party system, there is only one political party that is legally recognized and allowed to operate. So, it's a political system in which only one officially recognized party rules. Um, for example, the Communist Party of China, the Communist Party of Cuba, and then there used to be a, the Ba'ath Party in Iraq. These are um, examples of single party systems. Now, single party systems, some allow considerable pluralism of societies. Others are quite monolithic and they establish a link, direct link between the party, the government, and the rest of society. That's what we um, that is by way of uh, the definition of a single party. Only one party is allowed to exist and operate. Then you have a two-party system. Now, in a two-party system, regardless of the number of political parties in existence, only two political parties um, have the strength to win elections and to form government. So uh, the idea is that in a two-party state, um, there may be several political parties in existence and these other political parties may merely be seeking to um, be influencing governmental decisions in a manner reflective of their interests. But there are two, there are only two political parties, regardless of the number of political parties in existence, who have the muzzle and the strength to contest and to win election. Um, examples include the two party systems um, of UK and then the US. Now, you move on to talk about the multi-party system. Now, when you talk about multi-party system, it is explained in terms, or we, we define, it's a system which, uh, it's a system which uh, is explained in terms of the, the fact that you may have so many political parties in existence, but regardless of um, these political parties in existence um, the the one party um, must not be able to win elections without the support of other political parties you see regardless of the number of political parties you see the political parties in a multi-party system essentially are of more or less equal strength the, it, it, it's a system where political parties are more or less of equal strength such that in any major electoral contestation it becomes difficult for one political party to win the election with clear majority without the support from other political parties. That is when you have a truly multi-party system. The political parties existing are of more or less equal strength, such that in any major electoral contestation, it is always difficult for one single political party to win a clear majority of votes without the support of the other political parties. Our 1992 constitution in Ghana made Ghana a multi-party democracy. But if you look at this definition, it tells you that uh, we are multi-party democracy only in the books or in theory. Because in reality, the two main political parties in Ghana are able to win elections without the support of um, the other smaller political parties. We have over 25 um, registered political parties, but none of them um, um, is uh, no gives much in terms of support or votes to the two main political parties. The two main political parties are able to win elections without relying on these small political parties, and that makes us uh, not truly a multi party democracy. I'll look at the functions of political parties and the challenges they face in the next lecture. Thank you. Four minutes.